Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. We're coming to you from my house. We're going to do a maintenance item tonight. If you remember, my black tank uh, sewer outlet came loose in travel in the recent past on a long trip, and we fixed it by putting a decent sized bolt and a locking nut on there, and it hasn't been any problem. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to extend the, the uh, solution to put some galvanized uh, piping hanging strap underneath it, wrap it underneath it, and bolt it into the frame using some uh, number 12 one inch self tapping bolts. Okay, so that's what we're going to do tonight. And hopefully this will add some extra insurance when doing some long trips. So if the bolt and nut fail again, at least we'll have the strap to, uh, to keep it secure down the road. So here we go, let's get going with this. We're going to use this, uh, this material, which is the pipe hanger, and we're going to wrap it around the bottom of the, the black tank outlet and then just bolt it into the frame. So we'll do that right now. The first thing we got to do is take it down here and measure it. And then we got some snips here that we'll cut it with. So let's go ahead and get down here and, and try and uh, eyeball it with this to see how much we actually need. Because this is 10 feet long, we certainly don't need that much. So we're going to get down under here and look at this and wrap this around. And it's fairly, this stuff's fairly pliable. So I'm figuring we're just going to put it loosely around there, we're not going to tighten it too much. And I'm just going to put it around like that and then twist it here. So I'm think I'm thinking about that much where my thumb is is all we need. So about this much right here. So we're just going to cut right here at this uh, at this bend here and should call it good. So let's go ahead and grab the snips. And go ahead and do that. I got the snips right here. We got the uh, the metal split at the right point. We're going to use that as the hanger, right? We're going to bend these around at the top so that they basically, you know, we can screw those into the uh, to the frame. And we've got our number 12 one inch um, self tapping self drilling screws with some lock washers on them. And of course, our drill with a 5 16 bit locked in there. So we're going to be good to go. We're going to crawl under there and do this. Uh, what should happen is we just seat those in. Those should catch, drill through the metal, and then tighten in there, and we should be good to go. Hopefully, a fa fairly simple fix here. So let's get down here and do it. I'm going to place this right behind the current bracket, and then make sure that it's, you know, not too tight, but not bad either. All right, and just flatten these up against there. Get the right angle there and here. Flatten them a little bit. And that's how it's going to kind of look at the bottom there. So it's going to just be, you know, not too tight there, but good enough that it's going to it's going to catch. So we're going to just do one of these at a time. I kind of got this where I want it. Okay, so we finished the job of putting the pipe hanger to reinforce the black tank outlet, but we had to take a slightly different tack. So our original plan was to cut about a foot long of this and then twist it and put two new bolts into the frame. And they're self-tapping bolts, but we just couldn't get the leverage into the frame at all. So we had to stop, tried to actually drill a little bit of a pilot hole, didn't work really well. So we decided to use the two bolts that are already holding up the original bracket and just undo one at a time and then put the metal hanger on there on both sides and that's under, uh, what we ended up doing. So we still have the metal, metal bracket on, the new metal bracket uh, pipe hanger that's on, looking good, it's strong. Both those, uh, both those uh, bolts that are into the frame already from the original bracket are back tight up, the, the pipe hanger's in there now so it's all solid. 
So we have a kind of a backup system now in case the bolt, the uh, initial bolt ever fails. So that was the job. A little bit of change of course in the midst of that, but still able to do it. And I think this is going to be good. A little bit of insurance going down the road here this next season. So, hey, it's John Marucci again coming to you with us, uh, maintenance tip and item. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.